Hey traders, hope you all having an awesome weekend. So this weekend's video is going to be all about natural gas as we haven't got many zones to show this week but it was an insane week in regards with natural gas trade. We had two winning trades in a row that was sent to my members and with that natural gas is so far the best performing commodity this year as well as last year. I'm going to show the results in a while. Now we're going to do analysis of net gas, gold, silver and crude oil but let's start with the results and let me give you the method that will teach you the exact price action of natural gas how the natural gas was moving throughout whole year and how we have been predicting natural gas and what i personally look for my personal trading and a simple method to follow and all you need to do just follow that method and trust me it will give you insane amount of results a simple trading support resistance ema a trend continuation support that is all i look at not tons of indicator right so let me show you the results of the last year and this year as well so we're just looking at net gas results of 2023 as you can see one all the way from here we just had one two three and that's it we have only had three losing trades last year overall and this year by far we only had let's see net gas here one right here and just one losing trade so far in the year and not to forget these are the trades that were sent to the members there were some trades which i've took personally there are some trades that was mentioned in the live session and in my youtube videos as well which i've not added yet now it's mainly on about price action of natural gas as it works perfectly fine if we are looking at technical factors fundamental factors is something i don't even look at for natural gas there's hurricane out there there is storms there's winters i just look at my technical factors and as you can see the results how nicely it's been pushing has been going in our favor now i'm going to give you a method a very simple and very clean method you don't need so many indicators you don't need to mark so many zones and let me clear the charts for you first right here nice and clear nice and easy no mess now the reason i have the other zones because that was minor zones as well but if you're someone who are looking at the price in a longer term perspective we just need few zones one is called support one is the trend continuation resistance that has been broken and one is a major level of resistance that is all we need to look at now the method i'm going to teach you is applicable on every single market out there if the price action of that particular pair or commodity or index is working perfectly fine technically then it is applicable on that because there's some commodities that does not work nice technically like crude oil sometimes give some unpredictable moves now let me show you what what you need to look at first a major level of support then we have a level of resistance then we have another level of resistance right now first let's say if you start to look this year we just have this portion of this year and all the way from this black line to this current date and within this year we have taken some badass trades on smaller time frame now i get this question umar what do you think about higher term perspective if you're looking at natural gas now if you ask me if the price action is here i would say yes i'm seeing the next major level of resistance which is not this one but this one in the higher term perspective it is something yes i will be looking at for a dramatic falls so looking at some nice moves out of this area but it is something i'm looking at for the long term because it is a major resistance and price has started to push up in a trend now there's three stages for the price we're going to go step by step first support then we have like i mentioned resistance and then we have an ema and then we have another resistance or support why do we have just one ema because it is something we're going to use massively in the analysis first i'm going to teach you how to spot the reversal so very simple now let me go back in replay mode so that it will become really easy for you now the year has started right we are right here the year has started and price was pushing down all the way from here since the last year 2023 now we want to see where the price can react in a significant way so how can we figure that out now price is here we need to see how this level has acted in the past so very simple very simple and easy let's say we have no zones okay let's remove this one for you as well 
Now, let's say we have no zones in a past and we have a naked chart. Now, all we need to see, we need to see that if the price action has just broken below the recent low, which is right here. Now, first, we have a signal that price has now broken below the recent low. Now, it is a mistake that traders do. They see the market is so oversold, they start buying, not looking at the fact the price is going to massively fall from here because we have just recently price broke below the low and sellers are now in control. So, it is the first factor we need to look at that if the price, let's say, pull back to this level, we are just selling. But we need to see an area from where the price can possibly bounce out of. Now, we're going to scroll back and see from where the price has previously bounced up from. Now, do you see it is that looks like a significant level, right? So what are you going to do? You're going to mark a zone at the same area from where the price has previously bounced up from because this level has proven to be a level from where the price has massively pushed up. Now, once we mark this zone, that doesn't mean we're going to start buying straight away. Now, we are prepared that the price comes to this level, we are going to enter the buy trade, but we are prepared for that, not blindly. We want to see if the price pushes down to this yellow zone, if there is a bullish pressure, which is right here, if there is a pattern like a double bottom, which is right here, yes, the odds are going in the favor. We are now in a zone that has been reacted massively in the past. If you look here, from here, if you're looking at this level, massively in the past. So we are looking at the same thing in the current date. So we need to see right here if the price is going to give us some sort of signal or not. Now, let's play the market. We are here, still no signal. We have broken below. Now, like I mentioned in the start of the video, we have one level of support, then a level of resistance and a level of resistance. And it's opposite if the price is pushing from the level of resistance. So here, this was the level of support. Now it has been broken. This level will now turn a level of resistance and a trend continuation level means that if the price pulls back to this level, it will just continue the trend towards the downside. Now, once this level is broken, what are we looking at? We are just looking at a level below from where the price has pushed up massively. And this level as well, that has been broken recently, that if the price pushes back up, we're going to enter sell trade. Now, we're going to see where the price has previously bounced up from in the past. Now, you see this level in the past massively pushed the price higher right but not just blindly price forms a bullish engulfer here or a morning star pattern right here means it is giving us a bullish signs now right here once the zone is broken we are just looking at two levels and with that on a smaller time frame on four hour we are looking at what we are looking at just pullbacks and bearish trades till the price get to the level which we are waiting for the price for the reversal trades. Now, if you look here, once the price break below this zone, we had a pullback. We had a bearish engulfing pattern right here. And then the price pushes down. So we are looking at higher time frame with smaller time frame for just a pullback entry bearish. Now the rule is below 50 EMA, just bearish trades until we are at the level of support. So now we're gonna go back and see what the price action does once the price hit the zone. Straight waterfall. Now we are in the zone. Do you see any signals? No signals. If the price retested the zone, it hasn't. So we are not entering the trade. But on a smaller time frame, we might have got some good opportunities. Bearish engulfer, bearish engulfer, bearish engulfer. Again, it is not my full rules, but in general, it is bearish engulfer. On smaller time frame, we are taking the trades. Now, coming back on a high time frame, we are now in the level of support. After that, price pulls back up. And do you see a signal here? Pressure. Now, here we have, we did not get any sort of bullish signal. But here, we have got a bullish signal. Means the signal has happened at the level of support. Now, how are you going to tell if the price is going to reverse from here? The first thing, first the price needs to break above 50 EMA on a daily time frame. But now, why not take in the trades on a smaller time frame? So coming back on a 4 hour time frame, what do you see here? You see the price break above 50 EMA. Now what? We're going to look at either the pullback entry bullish or a bearish trades if we have a condition, the zone that has been broken from here. But as now we are not inside the zone, we are just looking for pullback entry bullish only. So we're going to play the market and see if we got a condition. No condition means we are not taking a trade. Now, what is the next step we're going to do? We're going to next, the next step is for us to see either a double bottom from the zone or if we break above 
50 EMA, just buy a trade. So as now we are broken below 50 EMA, the rule is just sell trade. So if you play the market, let me forward that. We're back on daily. So on daily, we are still looking at double bottoms pattern or a bearish trades if we have a condition at the level of resistance, right? At this point, the price is in the process of a pullback. We have the eyes on this area. If the price forms a double bottom, we're going to take a trade. With that, the price below 50 EMA as well. So we are looking at the bearish trades only on a smaller time frame, right? We have no condition. We're going to carry on looking for the trades and double bottoms on a daily time frame as well. So price is now inside the zone. It is not a valid double bottom yet. But now what do we have? We have the price hit the level of rejection from where the price previously bounced first bottom and second bottom. Now we have a green candle means we have a bullish signal means we price is likely going to head higher from here and here we're going to enter the trades. Now someone who is a higher time frame trader simply buy here, exit right at the level of resistance, a stop loss below these rejection zones so that you have a protection of a liquidity. So from here, as you can see, after a couple of days, yes, it takes a while. What do you see? Price at the level of resistance and form a bearish engulfing pattern. It is a kind of consolidation, but we are still in this trade. Now, the second, third step I'll be looking at either for the reversal, I want to see a break of this neckline that this double bottom pattern has formed, or if the price break below this low, it means the price will hit the stop loss and it will change the trend if you have set your stop loss at the level of resistance. So let's see what the price action does. Break above the neckline. Your target has been hit right here. You're out of this trade. Now what? We are completely bullish because the price just broke above 50 EMA on a daily and a four hour as well. Here, I normally put my Fibonacci tool. That is another chapter. But now at this point, I'm just looking at the other major level right here. The resistance level that has acted as a level of significance in the past. So until the price reaches my zone, I won't be looking for any sell trades. But on four hour time frame, now it is something for a high time frame trader, look for the pullback entry bullish as well. But on four hour, I'll be just entering my buy trades with conditions only. Now we have a pullback. This pullback can be above 50 EMA anywhere. Now, what do you see here? A nice bullish engulfing pattern, right? So on a smaller time frame, we've been taking the trades all the way up to here. But in that process, we can see so many noise out of the market on a smaller time frame. So here we took an entry and all the way up to break above we add another entry on four hour time frame and all the way up to that we're going to look for the same entry as long as price is keep on pushing up making higher highs breaking above the previous high now coming back on daily as price just broke above the neckline now my next step will be to see a possible retest of this level now like i mentioned earlier price forms a support a resistance once it's broken it become a trend continuation support area because it is broken if the price pulls back to this level it will likely push the price higher so now my eyes are on the recent level right here which has been broken and my eyes is now at the level of resistance right here that i'm looking at for the price to head to now if the price retest my zone i will enter another buy trade so let's see what price action does it is something happening on a daily time frame it is just pushing up and hit the level of resistance now like there is no entry here did i enter any trades no but in between i've been taking some small trades on four hour time frame but i'm still looking at this level i have not removed this level because i'm still expecting a possible retest of this level before the price will break this level and head head towards the next level now coming back price is now pushing down and it is a normal reaction from the price that it mostly come back to the level below once the price hit the resistance it come back to retest the recent level that has been broken broke above and now it is pushing back down so you see it is now heading towards which level the, the level i was waiting for the price to come down to to take my next buy trade because just support trend continuation support and a resistance that is all i'm looking at on a higher time frame on smaller time frame we are looking for bullish trade which we took here here now we are broken below 50 ma now on the way down we are looking at four hour time frame to look for the bearish trades right below 50 ma what do you see here 
a bearish engulfing candle. Right at that time, the OANA data was different. There is a green candle engulfed by the red candle, and there is a trade we took below 50 EMA. You see how nicely, easily, technically, we are taking the trades below 50 EMA, sell trades above 50 EMA, buy trades unless the price comes down to the level which we are waiting for the price to come down on a higher time frame. So this level is here. We are now waiting for the price to come down to this level. Now we are here in this level. As you can see, we are now inside this level. Price rejected and forms what? We have a bullish candle right here. Either the price is going to push up, break above 50 EMA. Either the price is going to form a double bottom pattern. Simply like the price did exactly right here bullish candle then it decided to come back down and forms a double bottom now my eyes are either the price will break over 50 ema i'm going to switch back to four hour and start looking for my buy trades on smaller time frame or if the price forms double bottom yes we have a confirmation if not if break below this low i will be then looking at the level below right here playing the market and see we have not broken above yet yes pull back down and yes what do we have we have the price forms double bottom pattern which is a strongest entry right here rejected from my zone right here and now i'll be looking at a level above and also a break of a neckline which is right here exactly like this a neckline has been broken and you see how nicely the price action is repeating the same criteria so the price is now inside here double bottom is pushing up now we are waiting for the break of this neckline right here we had a break another entry the break is means the price now heading higher on a high time frame. That is my, my targets on a high time frame. And that is exactly what my stop loss will look like. Now, as you can see, it is pushing up to the next level of major resistance. But now you see, we had some nice trades here. Here, that is something we are getting on smaller time frame. And that is something we had a level of resistance here on a smaller time frame, where we took this aggressive entries on smaller time frame. But on a high time frame, it is a clear picture the price is now pushing up but you ignore all the noises and you see price is now at the current date so that is how we need to look at price action on both higher and smaller time frame not only natural gas i want to show you gold as well now a good example of gold exactly the same methods the price is now pushing down all the way from here heading to the level of major support forms a double bottom break above the neckline pull back retest of the neckline and then it is nicely pushing up double bottom break above the neckline right with the candle and nicely pushing up and that is how the price action moves double top push back down retest the neckline of double top it is everything is opposite and then the price is pushing down so that is how we need to look at the price action and you see how nicely we are taking the trace just following some simple rules simple conditions support and resistance and just 50 ema on the charts i hope that makes sense and it is something all the way from here this year has been started to the current date right here so i hope that give you a good idea of looking at price action on a higher time frame on a smaller time frame what to look for entries when you're taking the day trades and how to look for your entries when you're looking at the higher time frame so let's wrap this part of the video i hope you got a value if yes give this video a thumbs up it really helps me in a youtube algorithm starting on analysis now with net gas gold silver and crude oil so starting with nemex platform first supplies so price is now pushing down nicely from the level of resistance right here to the level of trend continuation support that was recently broken we are now in a process of a pullback now either the price is going to break and close below this low it is something i'm talking about on daily time frame then we are looking at this level but looking at the fact we are retesting the neckline as well of the double bottom all I want to see a signal like a bullish engulfing pattern or a 3A2 candle. It could be a small red and a bigger green candle. Two daily candles I need to see for the price telling us it's going to push higher from here. Or back on 4 hour, I just want to see a bullish engulfing pattern. If we have that, that is a buy signal. If there is no condition, I'm not going to look for any entries. As now we have just retested this neckline. We are inside this neckline of this devil bottom pattern. I'm not just looking for the bullish trade. Now, very important. If there's no signal, we are not going to take the trades. As now we are broken below 50 EMA as well. We have taken multiple trades right here below 50 EMA right here. And this was also sent as an alert to my members. 
one bearish trade, second bearish trade if you look here, and then we had a bearish engulfer right here is pushing down. I've not taken it as a trade, but one, two, that was sent to the members as well. So that is what we are still looking for, a bearish trades, we are still looking for that, just with a pullback. As price just broken below this previous low has turned into an anchor level, we have a chance we can get a normal bounce below 50 EMA with the bearish engulfer and the price will likely to push down from here. It is something when there is no bullish condition. If we have a next candle turns to be a bullish engulfer, let's say we have a double bottom kind of confirmation that is a weak signal because I want to see a double bottom at the major area of value which is right here. But if you see a good strong bullish engulfer, in that case, we have a signal the price will push up from it. We are still not in a downtrend. We are still in an uptrend. As you can see, in an uptrend, these are just a pullback and it is just a big and deep pullback looking at on a higher time frame. We have a bounce up from here, we have a wave one, then we have a pull back down, we have a push up, we have a smaller wave before the price can likely to push up to the next level of resistance back from here right here. But everything will happen and depends on a signal. A bullish signal is something I need to see right here. Just bearish trades for now, below 50 EMA with a bearish engulfer until you see a good and strong bullish engulfing pattern. Now, to understand the reversal, like I mentioned in the first part, it must break above 50 EMA for the price to reverse completely from here. Here on Capital.com, exactly the same. We are retesting the same level that has been broken recently. Right here is 2.505 goes to 2.642. Forgot to mention the level here, which is 2.24. 7 goes to 2.301 it is a rejection zone but the level above green is right here the number in blue as you can see so coming back here still in an uptrend long term bullish engulfer will be my buy signal on a daily time frame but on a smaller time frame i'll be still looking for my bearish trades if we have a bearish engulfing pattern like this like this or like this until i see a strong bullish engulfer inside my zone once we have that only then I'm going to go long or strongest entry will be double bottom pattern here on capital.com. If we have that, we are good to go long. Looking at this recent level that has been broken can likely push the price high. Keep an eye. This is the condition I'll be looking at after this nice head and shoulder pattern. We are nicely pushing down. I've been mentioned in my last couple of videos, bearish trades only with a pullback entry. If we have that, if there is no condition, just want to see a bullish engulfer inside the zone or double bottom. If we have that, then we can expect a bounce. And if the bounce is strong enough and break above 50 MA, only then I will look at the level above, which is right here in red, which I'm going to mention in my upcoming videos. Keep an eye, short term bearish trades. But if you have a good bullish engulfer, only then we're going to go long. Next up, we have gold. Now, like I mentioned a couple of days ago, I'll be adjusting my Fibonacci too. Here on gold, and I've also mentioned that on my Telegram channel that I'll be adjusting that. I've sent a free report. If you don't follow me on Telegram, please do that because I do send the reports of major commodities there, a free report which you can download from directly from my website. Now, pulling up my Fibonacci tool from here to here. All I want to see, just a pullback. Just a pullback to 50% for aggressive trader. If you are someone very aggressive, buy limit order can be 50% and take profit can be 1.618 retracement by keeping your stop loss below this Fibonacci pattern. It is something for the aggressive traders. If you're someone who's not an aggressive trader, just a pullback followed by bullish engulfing pattern. That is my preferable entry or if the price pushes down to the zone that has been broken recently, right here the number in blue. If the price forms a bullish engulfer here, that will be a strongest entry or double bottom in this area. So just a pullback entry bullish or aggressive entry from 50% retracement with a buy limit order. So only buy trades for gold. Massive push up out of silver. That was expected. The reason is the gold was pushing massively higher and that time the silver was behind. So gold had to push the silver higher as well. So simply just a pullback and bullish engulfing pattern I'll be looking at. But the level above. It's a good level, which I'm now paying attention for the possible reversals. And right here, this level is 34.32 goes to 35.43 from where I'll be looking for the reversal trades. For now, as you can see, we are broken above and you can still pull up your Fibonacci tool at this point, right all the way from here to this area. Exactly like gold, just a pullback to 50% will be a buy limit or take profit can be 1.618. Tracement stop loss can be below the EMAs preferably. Otherwise, a retest of the zone that has been recently broken, which is right here, 31.42, goes up to 32.19. 
from where I'll be looking to enter my buy trade. That's why I'll be looking at for silver, just buy trade either aggressively or less aggressively with a pullback entries. Nicely pushed down here or with the Fibonacci levels. Like I mentioned, I'm looking at 1.618 retracement, 50% has been triggered. Let me show you the clip from my last video so that we can connect the dots from there. Bearish entry has been triggered already. If you look here, 50% has been triggered and I'm now looking at the price to head down to 1.618 retracement. As mentioned yesterday, 50% entry has been triggered right here we are now heading towards 1.618 retracement which i'm still expecting for the price to head down to now nice one so you see how nicely the 50 percent has acted as a good resistance and that pushed the price massively down and right from the 50 percent we had a nice 2.1 dollar move i'm still looking at the price to hit 1.618 retracement and the level below which is 65.76 goes to 67.31. Right here, it is a very good level. I'll be looking at for the possible buy trades for now. Just bearish trade. Now, if you're someone who have not taken this as an aggressive entry, then just a pullback to 50 below 50 EMA followed by bearish engulfing pattern. That is what I'll be looking at. Just a pullback entry bearish, nothing else. If you're someone who have entered this trade, want to manage it, you can manage to 1.618 retracement or to the zone below, which I've just mentioned. From where we're going to start to look for the bullish engulfers or double bottom entry pattern. So that's why I'll be looking at just sell trades with the pullback only. So that's it for commodities, guys. Hope you got a value. If yes, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, so that we can all trade together and trade efficiently. Hope you trade green. I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care.